I'm really doing it, Liv. I got a studio space. I am so proud of you. And Gov is super excited to help. <laughs> I thought he was against you running a business. No, now that I'm done with college, he thinks it's a great idea. Plus, he said it might help me pay back my student loans. Who are you talking to? Oh, it's just Libby. Are we having a picnic? I had to confiscate this from some eco-terrorist. He was trying to introduce foreign food to the local fauna. He didn't have a wildlife impact for him. Is this really important? Society's built on rules and regulations. When people ignore those rules, society just collapses. Then we're all just tearing each other apart like it's the Thunderdome. Although, the new Thunderdome development zone will be a huge boost to the local economy. I got an idea. I gotta make a phone call. Oh, hey, she will not call you back. Hey, Space Cadet, pass me that rag. You still have these? Sure. Babies loved them. Stupid babies who can't keep food in their stupid mouths. Um, I think you're being unfair to babies. I'm not angry at babies. I'm angry at the reminder of failure. Isn't this great? I can't make these fast enough. Everyone loves my bibs. How exciting. I love small business. Not as much as big business, but still. Hey, I got you something. You did? Mm -hmm. What is it? <gasps> Ta-da! It's what every business needs. Oh. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, I can't do lunch tomorrow. I'm totally swamped with orders. And Libby and I are gonna take a stab at optimizing my Etsy page. Did you say Libby? I've been researching SEO stuff and making some design tweaks on her site. It's going super well. Wait, she's not working for you, is she? Yeah. She's really good at, at the, the dorky stuff that's boring. Analytics suggests that the pink bibs are doing better than the blue bibs by 35%. See? Look, the last thing I want to do is tell somebody else what to do. Go away. I'm just a little concerned. I mean, are you ready for this? Hiring another employee, that's a really big step. She's already been freelancing for me. Wait, have you been paying her? Yeah, a little bit. Oh boy, okay. Well, it's a good thing I'm here, huh? Now that I know Libby is working for you, well, it's, it's my moral responsibility to protect her. Thanks, I guess, for caring, but I don't have to worry about Alexis. He into this? Wait, what are you protecting her from? I'm protecting her from you. Her employer. <laughs> it's just a small business. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal? Yeah. <laughs> Is child labor not a big deal? What if poisonous, toxic chemicals in these bibs make Libby more incoherent than she already is? Is that not a big deal? Alexis, businesses are dangerous. I mean, I'm talking marijuana level dangerous. And all these rules have been put into place to protect workers and consumers. So if you want to hire Libby, you're going to need to comply. I don't know if I can afford this. Maybe I can't hire you. Kind of sounds like you just protected me out of a job. Now, they say that there's all these regulations to help workers and consumers, but all that leads to is fewer jobs. Okay, that is exactly why we have unemployment insurance, so there's nothing to worry about. All these protections are written with good intentions, and I've never heard of a road paved with good intentions that leads anywhere bad. Are these lead free? They're 100% cotton. I'm not 100% sure of that. We'll need to get it tested. We will send you the bill. Don't pee in that one. See you for lunch tomorrow. And if I follow all the rules and everything, do you think my business can still make a profit? I don't know. Not really my area of expertise. <laughs>